All right, with Easter coming up, we've got an Easter paint class. So I'm going to show you how to paint this little bunny. He's pretty cute. It's hard to see, I guess, with the camera, but I'm gonna uh, show you how to get through this picture. So we need a canvas and the paints I have is a blue, a dark green, orange, yellow, pink, kind of a teal, purple, black and white. And today we are going to use some water. And we're gonna use water to lighten up her colors and make them more pastel -y. So we're gonna start on the back with a bigger brush. And I'm just going to start adding some of these different colors throughout the background. Okay, so I'm gonna get my brush wet. And this will kind of look like a, a watercolor when it's done with acrylics. So I'm just gonna start with some of my lighter colors. I'm gonna take yellow and just go across. They drip, that's okay, we'll go over them. So let's try not to get it too wet. Oh, we need my canvas in here, it's dripping. I'm just gonna add yellow in a bunch of different spots. It's really bright in here. I'm going to work my way to my darker colors, so I'm just Putting yellow in in a different few different spots. I'm keeping my brush wet for now. I'm not, I haven't dipped it in again. And I'm going to add some orange. You can always add more water if it's too dark. So I'm just going to put some orange up here, some orange down here, and it is a little dark, so I'm going to get. A little more water and just lighten that up. Okay. I'm going to add some pink in there, slowly getting a little bit darker. Blending the edges here, blending the colors together. And use the flat part of your brush too to make some smaller lines. If it runs, just catch it. So I'm going to add some, a little bit of purple in there, the pink. So you always want to go across, back and forth across. Add some white in here after to lighten some areas up. Add my blue to here. I haven't changed brushes yet. I'm just working with the same colors. Oh. Okay. Adding the water will make it lighter, or you can keep it darker if you'd like, just the colors on their own. Blue down here, add some white now. Now, in some of these spots, lighten it up. Try and keep the lines separated, colors separated. Try not to blend it too much. Just gonna grab 
Sponge with some glue. Keep adding the colors till it's how you would like it. Making some darker ones, but I'm going to go over them with the white. Keep doing that, and then we will do the bottom in green. The green is going to be grass. So just keep working all the way up from, from about here to the top. Add a little bit more yellow. And a touch bit more orange. And then I'm going to go over it with some wet white. All right, I've got my wet brush. Just go over it with some white to lighten these up. Okay, a little bit more, and then we'll add some green. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with a, the aqua green. I'm going to have my brush wet, even just add a little bit of white. And that's just going to be at the bottom here. This is going to be all green. Okay. It's nice like that. All right, so we are going to need to let that dry a little bit so we can paint white for the bunny. I'm going to take a smaller brush, take some of my dark green. And just go back and forth and make some grass lines, just like this. You don't have to be even, just go back and forth. Hi, Jolene. Okay, just back and forth like this. And then you can make some grass standing up. Some on the other side. The lighter green down here. There's my grass. So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit because I want my my background to be dry before I draw my bunny. I'm 
when we do the bunny, we're going to just use some white first. We're gonna make the bunny outline. All right, I'm gonna try and get my view back to normal. Oh, there we go. So there's your background. There's the bunny. It's hard to see. Okay. Uh, found it. You can use a blow dryer. Or you can pause it now and wait a few minutes. It might be okay. So I'm going to use just white for now and a medium brush. And I'm going to start with the ears and the head. And we'll work our way down to the bunny holding the egg and the feet. So I guess right about here, let's make a circle for a head. We can fill this all in after we've outlined it. Just get the right shape. So one ear goes up here. And one ear comes up and then down. Just like that. Okay. Now his egg comes like that all the way to the grass. I'm going to blend it in here to the grass. Here's some feet here and here and some hands. One more. All right, you can fill all that in with white. We're gonna try and work really fast because we need it to stay wet so that we can blend some other colors in here. But we wanna make sure we get a good base of white on so we can't see your colors behind it. Ears. Try and paint in the same direction that the body would be. So get rid of the lines from the ear. Cover the head. So this is going down. This is going a different direction. Okay. So in the egg shape. See how it comes over the head like that? Keep those hands in there. And then the feet over the egg. Okay. I'm gonna keep adding a little bit more weight here so that it's nice and full. One over it. I'm just going to switch brushes so I can get a little more in there. So when you have it the way you like it, we're just going to take some of our some of our colors that we used for the background and just slowly work them into different parts of the base. So I took some blue. So I'm just going to put some blue here along the side of his face, but blend it in with the white so it's not going to stand out. Some up here, a little bit in the ears, some blue up here. 
side. And there's a little bit of blue in the hands. And feet. It's kind of hard to see right now. Morph here. I'm going to take some purple. Do the same thing, just in different spots. And right here. Go with the direction on your bunny. Some different spots. Too dark, you can go back and add some more white. Put some in the feet. And a little bit too dark up here, so I'm just going to go over it. I want to make sure that this egg is nice and white. So we know where it is. I have to come back and do that one again too. Okay, now I'm going to take some pink. I'm not going to blend it so much. I'm going to. I want it dark. Make the inside of the ear. I want that to stand out. I can come back and add some more again. Just until where it bends on the other side. Okay. And then you can make footprints, one big dot and three little dots like that. And the other side. All right. So he's coming to a close. We're going to take some of our pink and make it his nose too. Well, we have our brush full of pink. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to go over my egg again. A little more. I want that to be white. Might even go over the egg again with some green with me. Okay. Um, on this egg, and feel free to use whatever design you choose, but I'm going to go with the picture again and just add some of the egg designs on here. So this one is pink up here, and there's some pink down at the bottom. I have to go over those again. You want to give your work enough time to dry. So I'm going to add just a little bit of purple squiggles right out here. And at the bottom. All right, now I'm going to add some light green dots right up here. And down here. Okay. 
and some blue zigzags right here. And just an orange strike right in the middle. Right here. So there's our egg and most of our bunny. Now we're going to take a very small brush. I need to find where mine went. This. And we're going to outline in black. So just be careful when you're outlining that you use very light pressure and uh, not too much paint on your brush. You can always go back and get some more. So I'm going to start at the top so that I don't have to touch, go over my paint again. I'm just I'm not going to outline the whole thing. I'm just going to lightly outline different parts of the bunny. Same right here. Doesn't have to be the whole thing. Just a little bit of black, because black can change your picture pretty quick. I am in need of a new liner brush because this is going to get stained quite a bit. Oh, yep, I just put a big splash on my painting. I need to keep my hand more still. So now here is where you'll see where <laughs> here's where you'll see where the egg changes. I need to figure out a different way to do this. So here's the top of my egg. <laughs> I'll have to give him a hat or something. Mouth, and we'll do some eyes lower up here. Okay, and then you want to go and outline the hands. And some fuzz. We're almost done. And the other. All right. I'm going to Add a little bit more of a green bush here. <laughs> I'll have to fix it up a little, especially with my black mistake here. But there is your Benny. I'd love to see them. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, looks like it's angry. You know those... My um, video wasn't done yet, Kelly. 